If you're new to Weight Watchers or just looking for new ideas, I have the video for you. Today I'm going to be taking you guys along on what I ate for the whole week, Monday through Sunday, for a Weight Watchers diet where I'm sticking to 23 points per day using the freestyle point system and then I think I get 35 weekly points and so I'm gonna take you through my whole week now this week was really really hard for me it was a very stressful week I've been dealing with a lot of extra things going on with my parents trying to move and downsize and it's just a lot of things were going wrong that week I don't really share a lot about it in the video but I do share, you know, things that went wrong with my eating because of that and just plans were up in the air and I'm a planner and so it was really hard for me to not really know what I was going to be eating some nights of the week. Now is this a perfect look at Weight Watchers and how balanced your meals should be and things like that? No, not really, but it's a good example of how Weight Watchers can look when you're in a pinch, when you just need to eat to get through the day, when you are run out of groceries and you just need to find something in your pantry or your fridge, and how to make it work during those really hard times of life. Because I know for me, and I know for a lot of you guys, the time when you fall off the bandwagon with a diet is when you have a lot of stress and I didn't want that to happen to me with Weight Watchers. So I wanna take you guys along on what I eat for a whole week on Weight Watchers when I'm stressed out. So I'm gonna show this one time but I'm not gonna show this every day because I have it literally every day. There's no change between days so I don't wanna make it boring. So I always have a Contigo full of coffee throughout the day and then my coffee in the morning I rarely finish this but I still fill it up and then I have used three tablespoons of this coffee mate it's the sugar-free Italian cream and this is actually zero points I also will not be showing this every day but I drink what I call my juice the girls drink Mom, part of this too I never seen this Celia's got hers right there. Um, it's got 22 different superfoods in it. It's basically what I consider my multivitamin, but it's way healthier than like a gummy. So here's all the different superfoods inside, and it's just in a little pouch that's portable. I just um, mix it with some water, and then this wild noni concentrate that really helps with mental clarity. It helps really help your body absorb all these nutrients as well. I try to take this three times a day and this is just once a day. You'll have to email me about this because um, there's different links depending on where you're located but I'm um, trying to get better at responding to people about these. So you guys are going to see this four days in a row. This is what I meal prep for the week. Actually my husband did. So it's a cauliflower rice blend they have at Walmart with like peas and stuff and it's like a fried rice cauliflower rice blend black beans tomatoes a little bit of shredded cheese corn and then this like basically like i don't know chipotle shrimp i guess you could say i will link to the recipe we base this off below but this is what i'm having for lunch and this is a two-point lunch because the only thing in here with any points is the Velveeta shreds and it's two points for a fourth of a cup and i decided to add just a little bit of plain greek yogurt like maybe a tablespoon or two and a little bit of salsa and these are also zero points for supper tonight i'm having this tuna noodle casserole with some mixed veggies this was from skinnytaste.com so it's seven smart points so the whole dinner is seven smart points which means i still will have 14 remaining so i'm seeing some popcorn in my future this is something that's a normal occurrence a few days a week this, not so much, but since I had so many points left over today, I just decided it's a Monday. I, you know, have had, uh, last week was a really hard week for me, so I'm gonna have one of these. It's 11 points, so I'm not gonna get used to doing that. And this is three points, so that puts me right at my limit. That was 14 point snack, so I'm at 23 points. Now, I don't believe eating like this, even though I had a lot of zero point foods, is good like I don't plan on using up all my points every day if I continue to eat like the really low point lunch and a lower point dinner this is just a treat and this is how I'm fitting it in today's lunch is basically the same but I'm also gonna have this sauteed zucchini corn with a little bit of parmesan I'm putting this as two points it has a tiny bit of olive oil and a tiny tiny bit of parmesan um, but I made a big batch for all the daycare kids so I'm just having a little bit so I don't think it's that many points so I'm gonna go with four points for this entire meal because two points from the cheese and two points from this. Okay, tonight is an eight point dinner. We're having a quick dinner before we go to the pool. So I'm doing one of these extreme wellness wraps for one point. A sprinkling of the Velveeta, I'm just going with, that's a fourth of a cup, so that would be two points. 
and then the tuna is zero but the light craft mayo is one point per tablespoon and there's three tablespoons banana is zero and then I'm gonna have one tablespoon of this for two points I'm really tired after the pool and we're gonna watch a show I'm gonna have a whole bag of this this is the naturals Orville Redenbacher's naturals I think it's a simply salted on here it says it's four points for two tablespoons unpopped and I was trying to figure out I don't have the box anymore I think that's what's in here is the whole thing so I think it's four points and even if it's not four points I'm still way under on my points so I think I'll be fine if you guys know how many points are in this whole bag if it really is just four points I may just do these instead of the 100 calorie one because this gives you more popcorn so I don't know you guys let me know but I have seven left for the day so that's gonna be it okay guys this is a wait for it three point lunch I didn't mean for it to only be three points but that's what it is but keep in mind you don't want to overdo it with zero point food so I will try not to overdo it tonight but I'm using two of the extreme wellness wraps which are one point each inside of this I have refried beans and chicken breasts which are zero and then the craft I think it's fat free cheese which is actually zero points here I made just a little Greek yogurt salsa salt um, dip so that's zero points and over here I have a broccoli cauliflower medley with a little bit of ranch. So I said that was one point. It's a fat-free ranch because two tablespoons is one point. So altogether it is a three-point lunch. So let's talk about Dairy Queen. I was really, really bummed. I had planned this whole night of what I was going to eat. I was going to get a salad. I was going to stay within my points for the day. But I walked into the Dairy Queen that I had promised my little girl she had earned going out for ice cream. So we just planned to do dinner there because my husband was working late anyway. And the Dairy Queen we went to did not serve salads. So, and there was a line, so I just had to decide something off the menu really quickly. And I had to track it, which is the worst part, but I'm glad I did. So I ended up getting fries, which were nine points, and the original cheeseburger, which was 12 points. And then I also split half of a chocolate cone, a small cone, with my toddler. So that was six points. So all together for the day, I used 30 points, which is seven points over, but luckily I had my weeklies to draw from and it didn't discourage me too much and you'll see i continue to do well despite many challenges two points for the cheese today and one point for the ranch so three point lunch okay guys this is gonna look like a lot i have an explanation first of all it's 8 30 at night right now i normally eat around 5 5 30. it's been a really crazy day i only ate maybe half of my lunch it was a very stressful day not gonna get into it too much but my parents are moving tomorrow and just a lot has happened and so our whole night kind of got thrown up in the air and I didn't have time to eat till now after the girls went down and I was just really hungry for tuna melt so even after this meal I still have six points left over so I probably am not going to eat all of this I'll probably eat these but I don't know if I'll eat these but basically this is a 13 point dinner so four slice slices of the Sara Lee 45 calorie bread is five points the tuna is zero the relish is zero two tablespoons of the light mayo is two points two slices of this cheese one on each sandwich is three slices three points total so all and then um the butter i use about two tablespoons total buttering the bread maybe less but that's three points and then these are zero because it's literally just veggies and salt and pepper so just the way i'm gonna kind of treat myself at the end of the day a very long day where i'm really hungry right Artie? Um, without going over and actually being still pretty far under my points. Not gonna lie, I'm really bummed right now. I am PMSing. I know that's TMI, but I was feeling nauseous and then I got super starved and I went to the fridge to make my normal pizza quesadilla for seven points and I didn't have the quesadillas or the pepperoni, so I just had to make do because we're pretty much out of everything. So this is a 12 point lunch, lunch. one point for the sauce, three points for the two slices of mozzarella, Two points for the cooked turkey crumbles and then six points for the, it's one bagel split and then I cut in half. And this is zero point dip that I make with Greek yogurt, salt, and then ranch seasoning. And then I'll have some carrots. So altogether a 12 point lunch, which I am not too happy about because we're going to be eating with my parents at their new house tonight. Probably junk food, so we'll see how that goes. So I really want to lie to you guys about dinner. It's very hard to be held accountable. In this way it's been a very stressful 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 week but 
I committed to sharing, so I'm going to commit to this. Um, so dinner was 22 points. We did go to Subway, so that was a little better. Had I not eaten the cookie, I don't think I would have gone over in my points, but I did eat the cookie. So four points for the chips I had. I forgot to film it. Ten points for the cookie. Three points for the honey mustard and five points for the chicken breast sub. And so I'm at 34 points, so I went over by 11. So even with the cookie, I would have gone over. Without the cookie, I would have gone over one. So I have 25 weekly remaining for the weekend. It's hard because these weekends have been really up in the air, helping my parents. They are moved now, but, you know, I just don't know what's going to happen if we're going to hang out with them tomorrow or night or not. They do want to go out to eat to Perkins on Sunday, so I'm going to try to save all my weeklies for that and just stay really healthy tomorrow and have like no supper on the day we go to Perkins. So I want to stay within my points tomorrow and then use all those weeklies for Perkins. I think I can do it. Stay tuned. So I'm super sad today. I think there's a theme for this video. I'm out of coffee creamer. We've just been like out of all our food. I don't really know how that happened because we go grocery shopping weekly, but I just didn't plan very well, I guess. Out of coffee creamer. And I don't drink my coffee without cream. I don't want to put milk in. It just doesn't taste the same to me. So I am going to Target this morning. So I want to just get some Starbucks while I'm in there. Or I'll do the drive through depending on if I go to Walmart or Target. So I'm looking at WeightWatchers.com at some options that I can get. So I think I'm going to plan to either get a cappuccino with non-fat milk and maybe get like a sugar-free syrup pump. Um, or, and that's two points. Or the Ice Skinny Cinnamon Dolce Latte is two points. I don't normally get cold coffee. I like it, but hot coffee to me is like, it feeds my soul. And I don't really drink the coffee for the caffeine. I drink coffee because it's like the most amazing special treat I can give myself every day. I just love it. Um, but I don't like black coffee. So anyway, um, and I want to eat a very small lunch today, like maybe a banana and some peanut butter so I can save most of my points for tonight since I blew it yesterday. So I'm actually gonna make a little omelet this morning and it's a two point omelet. I will show you guys. I know it's a one point omelet because most of the stuff is zero points. So that's gonna help me out, just fill me up so that at lunchtime I can just eat a little bit to tide me over in case we go to my parents and like eat hot dogs or something like that. I can save most of my points. Okay, this is the final product. Like I said, one point which comes from this, two ounces of this, one point, fourth of a cup of this, zero points, zero points, zero points, zero points. So one point lunch, or breakfast, I mean. Okay, I'm kind of bummed. We, I had thought I had set a Walmart pickup, but I didn't, so we're still completely out of food. So my idea of like a banana with some pita butter isn't gonna work, because I don't have any bananas. So I decided, uh, I am pretty hungry and I don't want to get so hungry by dinner that I just completely indulge. So I'm doing some tuna with some of these Good Thins potato crackers. I hope it tastes good with the spinach and garlic with the tuna. So I did two tablespoons of this. That's two points. And I think it's like 23. 23 of these are four points. So it's a six point lunch. Not what I wanted, but you guys, this is real life making do with what you have and what your body feels like it needs, and I'm working with it. Now tonight we're going to Subway again. The girls wanna go on a picnic. I am not going to my parents like I had thought I was going to. So I'm gonna skip the cookie, and I already planned out what I'm gonna eat, so I will have one point left over for the day. So that's good, that'll carry over to tomorrow. And I will have 26 points plus my dailies to use for Perkins and then supper because that'll be like a really big brunch and then supper. Okay, 13 point dinner. It is four points for the chips and then five points for the sandwich, two points for the cheese and two points for the light mayo that I got. So all together, 13 points and I still have one point left for the day. Oh, and just in case you wanna know what we're doing, we're watching a movie and having a picnic inside because it's crazy hot and gonna rain. So I'm super duper proud of myself for Sunday. I planned this in advance. I knew we were going to Perkins with my parents that morning for brunch. And this was a huge celebratory brunch because it means we got to the end of my parents moving 
it went overall smoothly when it finally happened despite many many challenges along the way and I thought it was definitely time to treat myself and I didn't want to hold back too much but I wanted to stay with my within my point so I really planned accordingly and I'm so proud I did so I ended up having the granny's country omelet which was 19 points hash browns on the side which was seven points i just i ordered pancakes along with it but i only ate one with butter and that was seven points and then the sugar-free syrup was zero points so all together it was a 33 point meal but that still left me with i think 16 points left over afterward to use for the rest of the day which is pretty awesome considering it really filled me up Finishing today, most likely with a seven point dinner. Two wraps, those are each one point. Um, so that's two points total, those are the extreme wellness. Tuna with one um, can of tuna and two tablespoons of the light mayo, which is two points between the two. Um, I just did a little bit of lettuce and then I split up one slice of cheese among the two, so that was two points. And then this is zero, so altogether six points. And then total left for the week, I still have 10 points. So we will see if I eat anything else today, but feeling really good about this. So that is everything I ate. Overall, I lost about two pounds this week. I haven't been losing a lot of weight. I haven't been the best on Weight Watchers the last month or so. Um, and if you go back and watch my like intro to the whole weight loss series I've been doing, I talk about how I was getting off antidepressants, so I'm still like newly acclimating to not being on them anymore and they were definitely hindering my weight loss so I was not expecting to lose a lot of weight fast and that's okay with me I just want slow and steady and I want to change my habits which have been happening which definitely has been happening so I'm really happy about that and I know the scale will move more over time but I'm just very happy and proud of myself that I stuck with it I didn't go over my whole all my points for the week and I tracked every single meal and it definitely kept me accountable to be filming this video. So I do plan to do another one next week so you guys can see that as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like these kinds of videos, make sure you give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.